So we're going to start this workout with 15 single leg calf raises on each leg. Feel free to use something to help you balance. Rather focus on getting the movement out of the calf than fighting through for the balance the whole time. If you feel like it's too easy if you're using something to balance, then feel free to come away from the wall, chair, table, whatever it is that you might be using. Making sure that you're pressing through the toes and going straight up and down with control, not rocking forwards and backwards, and that you're squeezing up through the calf, squeezing the bum forward, tummy is nice and tight, and that you're not using that assistance balance device to help you cheat. For your curtsy lunges, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that those hips are facing forwards, and then you're stepping back and crossing over the front leg as you drop the back knee down towards the ground. So it's not going straight back, you're getting a nice diagonal lunge. We are alternating between each side and feel the stretch over that supporting leg glute as you cross back into your lunge. Pressing strong through the front leg to draw yourself back up, tucking that tailbone, squeezing the hips forward when you come up to standing, and then sinking right down into those glutes each time you lunge. Try and get that front thigh parallel to the ground and making sure you're not touching the back knee to the floor. Get it just to a nice hover. For your inverted hamstrings, you're going to place the balance on one leg and then trying to keep the hips as square as possible, you're going to hinge forward, pivoting around that hip socket, sending the chest forward and lifting the back heel up to the sky. Keep the back toes pointed towards the floor which will help your hips stay nice and square and then you can start to get the arms involved by reaching forwards or sending them out to the sides or placing them on your hips to help you balance, whichever one feels more comfortable but trying to keep that body as straight as possible as you do your hip hinges. You want to connect the heel and the crown of the head in one straight line as you pivot forwards, keeping the muscles of the back or posterior chain all connective and active as you fold forwards to that parallel position. As the pelvis tilts forward, lifting the tailbone up to the sky, you're gonna feel a lengthening down the hamstrings and as that single leg is supporting the balance, you're going to feel that glute and the glute need supporting you nicely as well. You may also feel the ankle start to shake strain if it's not that strong to balance you up, but keep working through it. If you absolutely need to hold on to something for balance, feel free, maybe a foam roller just off to the side of you, or really you can use a chair or a table, something really stable to help you balance. As those hamstrings lengthen, you also want to feel the hamstrings pulling you back upright to your standing position as well. So you might find that the hammies are really, really tight and you don't get to drop so far forward, but feel them pulling you each time you come upright. Now that the calves have had a little bit of chance to recover, we're going to go back into double leg calf raises. Same rules apply, tummy is tight, tailbone is tucked in and lifting straight up and down, heels lift as high as you can off the ground. Also working to keep the ankles from rolling outwards or maybe inwards, but more likely outwards. You wanna squeeze straight up and straight down with those feet and don't roll the ankles open. Again, feel free to use something to help you balance if you do feel like you're struggling. The focus is on squeezing out the reps through the calves, not so much on the balance. Pop those feet nice and wide, turning those toes outwards to about 45 degrees. You're gonna drop that thumb nice and low for your sumo squats. So using the hip external rotators to open up the knees so that they're pointing in the same directions as the toes, but as you squat, make sure the knees do not go beyond the toes. And you want to imagine you're sinking your bum back down towards a chair that's just out of reach behind you so that your whole body is not coming forwards. You're also sticking your bum out for that and not keeping the tailbone tucked in. So although your tummy is tight, your bum is sort of sticking back so you're getting a nice hip hinge at that hip level. Finishing off with some pistol squats. Feel free to do little half single leg squats or single leg sit stands if you like. But if you're up for the challenge, single leg pistol squats is the way to go. You wanna straighten that lifted leg as much as possible. Feel free to hold the toes if you need to, but try as much as you can to keep the supporting heel flat to the ground as you tuck the tailbone, sink the hips down towards the heel, and then press through the leg to come straight back up. 
using something to balance if you need to.